New revelations have just come out, which not only shed new light on the relationship between Jeffrey Epstein and Bill Gates, but also it sheds new light on how Epstein actually operated things, meaning how he was able to hold sensitive information over the heads of wealthy and powerful individuals. Now, these revelations came in the forms of new emails as well as new documents that were reviewed by the Wall Street Journal. And these emails, they reveal how, after Jeffrey Epstein discovered that Bill Gates had an alleged affair with a young Russian woman, he used that fact, that piece of compromising information, to then turn around and threaten Bill Gates, who was married at the time. But it actually gets a lot deeper than that. However, before we dive into the specifics, I'd like to mention two important things. For one, we here at the Epic Times didn't have access to these emails ourselves, and so we have to take the word of the Wall Street Journal for what they say in terms of what the emails actually contained. And second of all, if you appreciate content like this, I do hope you take a super quick moment to smash those like and subscribe buttons, which will force the YouTube algorithm to share this video out to ever more people. Now, to start with, it appears that besides trying to get a vaccine into the arm of every single human being on the planet, well, Mr. Bill Gates has another hobby, the card game Bridge. And along that line, back in the year 2010, Bill Gates attended a Bridge tournament where, among other things, he met this young woman right here. Her name is Mila Antonova, and she is a young Russia woman who happens to be a Bridge enthusiast. And here's how the Wall Street Journal described what took place back in the year 2010. Quote, the Microsoft co-founder met the woman around 2010 when she was in her 20s. Gates has said he learned to play bridge from his parents, and the card game became one of his favorite hobbies. Gates played with Antonova, another devotee of the game. She attended a university in Russia between 2000 and 2005, according to her LinkedIn profile. She later founded a bridge club in the U.S. before taking on several roles as a software engineer in the Bay Area, her LinkedIn profile shows. And interestingly, there's actually a short excerpt from a speech that this young woman gave shortly after that 2010 game in which she detailed what it was like to play against Bill Gates. That's two years ago. Two years ago, I said to everyone that I'm going to meet this guy. Nobody believed me. Um, last year, I played against him at the same table at the National Bridge Tournament in Washington, D.C. I didn't beat him, but I tried to kick him with my leg. Now, this is where things take a turn for the, you can say, odd. Because according to this report from the Wall Street Journal, Mr. Bill Gates, who was married at the time, and Ms. Antonova had an affair. Now, again, the Wall Street Journal did not provide the emails that they used to substantiate this claim. And for her part, Ms. Antonova declined to comment on this aspect of the story. And so you can take it for what it's worth, and you can believe what you will. Regardless, here is what happened next. Ms. Antonova had an idea. She wanted to start an online business teaching people how to play the game of bridge. It would be basically an online portal with tutorials for both beginner and advanced players. And along that line, she was seeking funding for the project. Specifically, she was looking for about half a million dollars of venture capital to get her project off the ground. And this is where one of Bill Gates's confidants, he steps in and he makes a crucial connection. The confidant in question is a man by the name of Boris Nikolic. He's a close advisor to Bill Gates. And according to the article, here's what happened. Quote, Antonova had an idea to start an online business to teach people how to play bridge, and she sought funds for it. Boris Nikolic, a Gates confidant and top science advisor at the time, who also knew Epstein, introduced Antonova to Epstein to help her raise the funds. Antonova and Nikolic met at Epstein's townhouse in November of 2013, where she presented her proposal to Epstein, who provided feedback. She was looking to raise $500,000 for the venture, which she called Bridge Planet. Its mission was to promote Bridge by creating quality tutorials for beginners and advanced players. On November 9th, Antonova wrote an email to thank Epstein for the meeting and reviewing the proposal. Epstein ultimately didn't invest in the project. Now, it is worth mentioning that for her part, Ms. Antonova said that she had no idea about who Jeffrey Epstein was at this particular time. Here was a statement that she made when she was requested for comment. Quote, I had no idea that he was a criminal or had any ulterior motive. I just thought he was a successful businessman and wanted to help. I am disgusted with Epstein and what he did. Regardless, getting back to the timeline of events, despite this unsuccessful attempt at getting venture capital, it appears that Epstein, for some reason, continued to see himself as somewhat of a benefactor for this young woman. For instance, the very next year, in 2014, Ms. Antonova stayed briefly in a New York City apartment that was provided to her by Mr. Jeffrey Epstein, although she added that, quote, I didn't interact with him or with anyone else while there. Then, after seeing her online bridge project fail to secure the necessary funding, Ms. Antonova decided to switch gears a little bit and instead pursue a career in computer programming, 
which she was able to do thanks to an education that was funded by Mr. Jeffrey Epstein. Here's specifically what the Wall Street Journal report says on this particular issue. Quote, after she failed to secure funding for Bridge Planet, Antonova said she decided to become a software programmer and asked several people to lend her money for a programming boot camp. Epstein agreed to pay and he paid directly to the school. Nothing was exchanged. I don't know why he did that. When I asked, he said something like he was wealthy and wanted to help people when he could. Okay, so at this point, here's a basic timeline of what's happened, according to this report. Bill Gates meets this young woman at a bridge tournament. The two of them allegedly have an affair. Bill Gates' top aide introduces her to, to Jeffrey Epstein in order to help her secure funding. The funding doesn't come through, but instead Jeffrey Epstein begins to act as this young woman's benefactor, taking care of her New York City lodging and paying for her computer programming classes. Sounds like a generally good deal for the young lady. However, it appears that Mr. Epstein had his own agenda beyond just being a nice, rich uncle type. That's because as all this was actually happening, Jeffrey Epstein was also trying to use his relationship with Bill Gates to set up a multi-billion dollar fund over at J.P. Morgan Chase. This would be a charitable fund that would, for one, make Epstein millions of dollars in fees, and secondly, it would help to rehabilitate his image given the fact that by this point he was already a convicted and registered sex offender.